Members of a legislative committee today grilled Secretary of State Corey Stapleton over a mistake his office made in printing the voter information pamphlet this fall and the contract to fix it. The $265,000 contract to print and mail a correction to voters in early October went to a billings firm owned by Republican political consultant Jake Eaton. Stapleton, a Republican, told the Senate, uh, the State Administration and Veterans Affairs Committee that he's known Eaton for some time, but that he chose the company because it was the only one that could do the job in a timely fashion. The original voter information pamphlet mailed to 470,000 Montana voters did not properly identify the language in state law that would be changed by initiatives 185 and 186. Stapleton says he learned of the error on October 9th and wanted to get correct information to voters by the time they received absentee ballots in the mail several days later. He said other print shops couldn't get the job done until days later at the earliest. Democrats on the committee said the corrected mailer fell short of what they would expect. There's no Secretary of State stamp on this. So when I received this, I went, is this a joke? Is this one of those phony mailers that they're trying to garner my support for something that's not accurate? I'm with you. I expect us to excel and, and put out perfect documents. And again, when it wasn't, we did our best to fix it. We satisfied the legal requirement in my mind because we got it there in time so that people got it as they got their ballots. And we also did the best thing for the interest of the voters. Republican members of the committee noted that the cost of the mailer came out of Stapleton's budget, which is uh, funded by fees rather than general taxpayer money.